On today's video, I wanna to talk to you about the last step on your window install. That's this right here, where we're gonna be sealing for both air and water between the window jam and the framing. So I'm on a builder's job site where their insulation contractor has been through already, and they've used low expansion foam. This is a good method, it's certainly acceptable, but it has a couple of flaws that don't quite make it perfect. Look at this right here, we've got some foam here that didn't quite seal that jam perfectly. And if we were to experience a window leak in 10 years, let's say, I'd be worried that water might back up into the house. So let me show you a method that I prefer that's a little bit different. Okay, before I show you my method, let me take a quick second to say thanks to my show sponsors. All these companies right here, these are companies that are supporting my show, giving you that free content that we're publishing every Tuesday with a Rogue Show and every Friday with a Build Show. Hit that subscribe button below and there's a bell right there next to subscribe. If you click that bell, you're gonna get notified either maybe on your phone or an email that we've got new content up. Okay, let's get into it. So the low expansion foam, that's the standard method. It's acceptable, but it's not my favorite. I don't think that's the best way to do it. There's some flaws from both a water sealing and an air sealing perspective. Here's my method. I like to use a really good backer rod. This comes in a bunch of different sizes. You can get it from a quarter inch all the way up to an inch or two. But typically for most window installs, you're gonna to wanna to probably have a three quarter inch, a one inch available. And in this case, I wanna use the biggest backer rod I can find. This is not gonna exert any pressure on the window. It's gonna provide a little bit of insulation. And this is gonna actually provide a backer for our caulking. So when we do caulk it, you wanna use a good high quality caulk. DAP Dynaflex 230 is a good option. Now that caulking is not gonna to stick to the backer rod. It's only gonna to stick to the window jam and the framing, so now it can be permanently flexible. It's gonna be able to flex with movement in the framing or maybe movement on the window frame without cracking. And you can see here, when we've cocked that, we've gone all the way around the window, we've tooled that up with our spatula set here, and now we've got a perfect air seal and a perfect back dam for water. You know, this builder is using the Huber zip system and they've used stretch tape here on the window sills. And now we've sealed that water. So if something were to happen in the future, any water that got in there would hit that back dam and want to run to the outside and not into our framing. This is really a good method. It doesn't take long. For anything we talked about today when it comes to the tools or the products, there'll be a link in the description below so you can find those. And of course, support my sponsors. All their links are in the description below. We'll see you next time on The Rogue Show.